had a request earlier this week for As I Am by Justin Bieber and Khalid. Um, it's going to sound something like this, originally a piano song, but it translates really well for guitar too. Here we go. Now let's break that down and then later on as well there is strumming as well so we're going to start with the piano arpeggios basically and the chord shapes are really cool we're starting with G but for those that know the easy G this is a sort of upside down easy G in other words your middle finger finger number two has to go to the third fret after the capo at fret four before I forget must have capo at fret four and that's all you need to do this is your opening G Later it goes to G slash B, which means you're playing a G chord with a B bass note. Now all that means is finger 1 now, which is waving at you, needs to come into play on the 2nd fret of the 5th string like that. The following chord, C major 7, another easy transition, finger number 2, the middle finger, simply comes down now and overrides the first finger so you could actually release that first finger if you wanted to and then for the next bar stays with C major 7 G with a D bass means you're playing the you can see the string vibrating that is your bass note and then for the E minor we're basically playing middle finger or first finger second fret after the kappa string 4 and at the end of it, at the very end, it says C, and again, just the first finger in the first fret, second string. Now, what I'm going to do is just play it through once slowly so you can sit and focus on what the fretting hand is actually doing. Okay, we're going to be something like this. The counting is underneath as well in red, so if you're looking at your PDF, the 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and is there to help you with the counting if you're not sure. But slow motion, we're going to do something like this. Watch the hand movement. So you can hear these bass notes are quite prominent and that's basically all that's happening so the nice thing about the song not only is it a really awesome song but it's really easy to play now on the picking technique we're going to just focus across now to the picking hand you'll notice I'm using my thumb I'm going to go back to G over here there's my G that I spoke of earlier and showed you my thumb is resting on the 6th top string. Now, if you're looking at your tab, you'll notice there's double zeros on your 2nd and 3rd strings almost the entire way through until the very last zero one one at the end of the last bar. Those two strings with my fingers are now sliding on, that's your 3rd string, 2nd string, they're going to play like that so you actually sort of got almost a pinching sort of technique where you're pushing down with your thumb and up with your fingers one and two at the same time try and keep the fingers together as well so in other words don't tell them apart where they can sort of do something like that let them touch let them make contact so they feel like one movement like that and now on the picking your first beat one and two and three you can see the movement again nice and clearly. One and two and three. And after the three, you're going to have the offbeat of the two and three and four and kick in between that. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see left and right hand together. So you can watch the picking and fretting hand. And I'm going to play it through slowly and you can watch these fingers over here waving at you. And also watch the thumb go to the fifth string when the two and the three gets played and then lastly before i play notice fingers one and two don't leave the bottom two strings 
Here's that first bar. Two and three and four and... One more time, a bit of a different angle this, you can see from a top view. One, two, three, four and... Two and three and four. Then for the beginning of the second bar, you're staying there. In other words, you're still in the C major 7 now at the beginning of the second bar, and you're going to go. And that last note there, now we're onto the E minor. That finger there, I could have lifted off, I could have left it there, it makes no difference because we finished playing that string anyway. So you'll C major 7 to the G with a D, C major 7. There's my G with a D bass. There's my E minor. And for that last four, if you look in the corner of the video, there's the one in the zero one, and you can hear the change there. Okay, I want you to play it once with me. You're going to hold this angle, maybe a little bit more zoomed out there, and play along with, and let's see if it sounds good. Two and three and four and. And that's pretty much it. Later you hear there is strumming coming into play. So I'm just going to roll up the sleeve because you don't want your sleeve lying on your strings or anything like that. And the chords remain the same. So nothing's really changed with your fretting hand. This does the same job. You'll hear the strumming is sort of semi-dampened. And what that means is your palm is resting on the string. So it's not behind but actually on the string itself. So you can hear the... much your song so your damping is just gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and you're strumming down strokes the whole way through so a really cool song to do um, techniques are easy strumming is easy can't really go wrong got any questions you let me know you'll notice on your PDF as well I didn't put chord shapes in because I'm not playing a normal G I'm not playing in the normal voicings for C and etc etc they're all sort of just variations because of the nature of the song use your new G again G with the B bass C major 7 E minor nice and easy okay and later on during the song you hear there is a bit of a timing sort of thing where it goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 So he plays around a bit with the timing, but keep in mind it's predominantly piano. So don't feel bound to a specific strumming rhythm. Listen to the song, get the feel for the song. Always important to know the song you're learning and then interpret it as you see fit, as long as you feel it captures the essence of the song. Sounding very arty now, huh? Okay, but I'm sure you got it. You got the basic tools, you got your picking. Make sure those bass notes come through nice and clear. You've got your strumming. Make sure your damping is in place. Notice I'm not using a pick for this. I'm using the back end of my nail because if I want to go from the picking to the strumming, I'm not able to suddenly grab a pick. I would lose time. So try and do this one finger style the whole way through. And any questions, you've got my WhatsApp details. Looking forward to hearing from you. For those that are busy with tests and exams, best wishes and we'll see you soon. Take care.